Well, hello everybody. I'm glad to be back. Um, just about three weeks out of hospital now and gradually getting back on my feet. So hopefully we'll get some Design Spark Mechanical tutorials done. Uh, this one uh, is suggested by an enthusiast. Um, he wants to know how I can put dents or indents into pieces of tube. Uh, well, I think I've discovered two ways of doing this um, and I'm going to show both of them here now. So, here we go. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll make a tube. It's like a circle and we're going to make it 40 millimeters in diameter. And we'll put an offset curve in. We'll make it two millimeters thick. Select the pull tool. Select the annulus and and drag it up. We'll make it uh, 50 millimeters. So we've got a surface. The surface is on the bottom here. We don't need the surface, so we'll delete that straight away. Now select this tube, move, hold the control key, and drag away, and we'll make two. Right, we're going to call this one, rename pipe 2, and this one, pipe 1. Use pipe to the one to be at oops. Well, I did that because I only had selected the surface to turn the whole thing. We've got to select the whole 3D object. Now we can do that either by triple clicking one, two, three, it goes a little darker than it otherwise would be, so now we should be able to turn it. Type in 90. Now I want to intersect these two pipes about a quarter way in, the chap said, so we've got them intersected. And we're going to use the combine tool Combine, select the target object, which is one, and uh, select the cutter object, and now you see we've got two solids have been created. So we're going to use the combine tool again. So we'll hold the control key to select both at once, select the combine tool and they've gone into one so it's now one object. Escape, select pipe 2 and move it. We really don't need that anymore so we can in fact. Delete it. One, two, three. 
and we can pull it out. So we can manipulate this. We turn this 90 degrees that way and then turn it around 180 that way. Then we can drag the hub onto the back face of there, turn square. And choose the up to tool and select this surface and we've got a tube with kind of a dent in. Now it's two parts at the moment so we can simply select both of these holding the control key and select combine and there's a pipe with a dent in it or an indent if you will. You can, if you wish, select the pull tool, select this edge and put a little smooth corner on here. Just drag away oh, about two. Return. And you can put a one on the inside as well. Make that one two also. There's a nice smooth indent in our pipe. Well that's one way to do it. Uh, here's the second way. We'll start with another design. New design. This time 40. We're going to start with a solid. And we'll pull that up 50. Solid. Move. Hold the control key, drag away. Then turn this through 90. And merge. How does that look? Wanted about a quarter of the way. Now we're going to use this one to cut a notch in there. So we'll use combine target object. Is that one? Cutter object is that one. And we've now got extra solid. Just to see what's what, we'll right, we've got a PC that's that solid there, so we'll right click on there and delete it. This one we don't need. Delete that. Now to make this into a hollow pipe and preserving the indent what we do is we select shell and we've got a dimension here call that two return click and we've straight away got our indent in we've got a bottom on the tube but we just simply click on that and it puts a through hole for us. So that's a, a darn sight 
quicker and again we can select the pull tool select this edge and drag down a bit so you have to again whoops ah what's this unable to round edges I wonder why Oh, that's work. I think doing it this way, you're a bit restricted on what up, what you can do to. manipulate these so we've got two ah now that radius the two the two millimeter radius I had before was the same as the thickness of the of the pipe so that m might be what's going on I'll try three see if it still comes up with a ah it's done it you see you've got to think out of the box here so we have got a three millimeter radius on and let's put an internal radius on for it to keep the thickness at the same amount two millimeters one would presume let's try we'll select that and go to press X for a cross section and down here move grid There we are. Yes, we've got a nice smooth round here and a nice smooth round there and around internal round. So that's nice. And that looks very good. So there you are, there's two methods <coughs> of putting an indent in a pipe. I hope it will be of some use to you and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. See you again later. Bye.